quarter inch impact driver. This one I bought at Home Depot. It's about 89 bucks, made by Husky. <coughs> and this tool just saved me a lot of time. Because I was having a problem rotating the cutters on my indexable planer cutter head. I've got all my cutters soaking here in some resin remover so I can clean them up. I was having really bad luck getting these screws to loosen up. I was able to get a few of them off, but for the most part, these things were just stuck on here. And I tried everything. I tried hitting it with the PB blaster, which is really good stuff. If you don't have this stuff, you, you got to get it for your shop, because every once in a while you'll get something stubborn that this, this can break it loose. Um, but I gave it a 12 hour soak with PB Blaster, I tried tapping on them, uh, but nothing was working, these things were really jammed on there. So I went out and I got myself an impact driver because I called up my buddy who knows a little bit more about automotive stuff than I do, and he told me, no, what you need is an impact driver. So I never used one, so I don't know how they work, I didn't know what they did, but man, I'll tell you, this thing really made it work. I mean, it took out these things uh, like it was in hot butter. I did buy this little space heater too, so I've been heating up my planer cutter head for about a couple of hours before I tried doing it. So I figured the heat would make that catalyst work a little bit better. And it did, I think, because I, I didn't have any problem with these. It, it just They just all popped off like it was nothing. And before, I was really struggling. I, uh, kept breaking my bits, probably bro broke ten of these bits trying to get these things off. It was really creating a headache for me and I was like almost ready to give up. It was, a, it was a pretty simple easy and quick fix. You know, I just needed the right tool for the job and that's, that's really what it came down to. So it's not really useful for driving screws. It doesn't do the same thing as a, you know, a screw gun. But as far as loosening screws, that's really what it's uh, designed for. Um, so I really like this thing. And I also got the impact driver Torx bits, which are much better than the other cheap bits that I was using that kept breaking. So that's just a quick tip today. I learned something new. Got a new tool. So... I'm just going to share it because I'm sure somebody else has had this problem too. So the combination of heating up my cutter head, putting the PB blaster on it, and using the impact driver was the way to go. Oh, and I also got this new headlamp too. It's, it's really quite brilliant. It's got the battery pack in the back. And it's just got this little tiny headlamp in the front. What I really like about this thing is it's just got one switch for on and off. You don't have to press the button like seven times to turn it off, which is handy. I, I don't know why they do that. So the best thing about this is it's compatible with hats. So I can put my hat on It's really quite comfortable. This is by far the best design of a headlamp I've come across so far. It's, it's really quite useful. So they're either like too, too clunky, or they don't fit right on your head, or they're just annoying. But this one works really, really well. So I also got this at Home Depot. It's made by Coast. So. So that's my video today. Got a new headlamp. Got an impact driver. And I'm just I'm just coasting. Oh, and I also got some new boots. I got the, the same kind of boot that I had before. 
it's almost the same. These are made by High Tech, and I just absolutely love these boots. They're, they're not steel-toed, um, which you, you may or may not dis disagree with. I, I don't actually like the steel-toed boots because they're just so heavy. But these boots are actually especially light. They're the lightest that I've ever tried. And that really lends itself to the comfort. And plus, you can just kick them on and off like, like slippers. They're like boot slippers. So I, I, I never actually have to lace these up. They look a little bit goofy with the tags hanging out in front, but you know they're very comfortable, very lightweight, made by high tech, the boot of choice at High Falls Furniture. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, whatever.